Hello folks, this is Kerry with 401k Dexters here. It is Friday, January 23rd, I believe. Uh, looking forward to the weekend coming up. For all of those of you still working, uh, happy Friday. Uh, for all of those of you who are retired, um, happy Saturday number six. I uh, thought I'd jump on here this morning and put together a video I was reflect, reflecting on reasons why I retired based on the work situation that I was in. Now, as many of you may have known, um, I retired last September 30th of 2023 after 25 years with uh, L3 Harris Corporation. Uh, ended up my career as a systems engineer uh, spent many of years in the technical publications uh, environment, both as a drafter, illustrator, writer, and then manager. Uh, and then my last year of employment, I took a systems engineering job. Uh, great company to work for, wonderful benefits, um, fantastic projects. Um, wearing a hat today on the of the 509th Communication Squadron. Uh, I believe that squadron is disbanded now, but uh, it was a group of mobile communications um, terminals that was stationed out of Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, um, one of my projects that I worked on, uh, we were sent out from Colorado Springs out to Omaha to do some testing of those vehicles. Uh, quite interesting to see what their mission was and uh, how they were deployed, um, how our testing help them um, be prepared in the event of um, them having to go off and do their jobs. So uh, very interesting project, interesting work, uh, as was most of my career um, working for L3 Harris. But there towards the end, uh, there were five things that I've listed out that really just started to eat at me and uh, really pushed me towards the inevitable retirement that I knew was coming, um, but made it e easier to decide. Um, as I mentioned, uh, I had worked my way up into management and as such, I had been given a uh, cell phone so I could keep track of all my employees and keep in touch with the team. Uh, the problem with that was it became an electronic leash. And while you know, your work day consisted of, say, an eight to five or a seven to four, uh, the electronic leash would pull you into work on your own time. Um, you were expected to respond to text messages that were critical, um, or you could also access your email, which meant there were times when I was sitting at home in the evening watching TV and my phone would buzz. And of course, by nature, you end up answering emails at six, seven, eight o'clock at night. So your work week, week, work day was really extended past your normal working hours. And I just really got tired of that uh, electronic leash uh, around my neck. Another thing that uh, seems to be prevalent in our society, not only in the corporate culture workplace, is excessive diversity and inclusion training. Um, it just became overwhelming uh, when the D, E, and I training surpassed the importance of quality and um, schedules. It just became to the point where, you know, what are we really striving for here? Are we trying to make a workplace that is comfortable and um, warm and fuzzy to everyone that might be easily offended? Um, or are we more about getting work done to you know, appease customers and projects? And as I worked in the uh, government contracting world, you know, the safety of our country. Uh, the DE&I training just became so mandatory and shoved down our throats and uh, overwhelming, uh, to say the least. So that was another um, project that, uh, another stressor of work that convinced me to push towards retirement. 
The third thing that I wanted to mention was the stress of project, progress, reports, and due dates. Um, as a manager, um, I had moved away from the hands-on work of uh, projects. And as many of you know that have worked your way into management, you become more responsible for personnel and projects as opposed to getting a particular task done. So uh, I missed that. Um, I really didn't enjoy the management of people. Um, projects, not so much. Uh, I was okay with taking projects from you know kickoff phase or pre-kickoff phase all the way through completion. Uh, I did a really good job. I worked hard, dedicated myself to uh, the task at hand and accomplished a lot during my 25 years. But uh, it just became the point where I was tired of it. It, it was wearing on me, and after 25 years, uh, I needed to step away from that stress level. The fourth thing, fourth thing of the corporate culture of profit over quality. Um, working for a publicly traded company, uh, you're consciously aware of the price of the stock of the company. And handed down from above, uh, those upper management and senior management uh, have a concentrated effort to make sure that the company's profitable and that the stockholders are happy and keep investing in the company. But again, when you step away from what's the pro product that we're creating and you're more interested in how many bodies can we throw at something to accomplish a task, not are those bodies capable of creating a quality product and you know, produce what the customer really wants, there just seems to be a dichotomy between profit and quality, which was disheartening to say the least. The fifth thing that I wanted to mention was what I called reorg-itis. The last few years that I was employed, uh, the company's management went through several reorganizations. Um, as a diverse company that has multiple divisions at different places, it always seemed that one division was getting new leadership. And with that new leadership comes new ideas, um, new processes, and uh, things that needed to be passed down and implemented. Uh, during my last year, I think I went through four different um, supervisors or managers. Uh, and the bad thing about it was the moves that they put me in didn't necessarily correlate to someone who understood the type of work that I was doing, um, but was a matter of convenience for some org chart of where I fell. So it just became so overwhelming that you didn't know if the guy that you were working for or the lady that you were working for would be your boss by the time it came to get your annual review. And many times in my annual review for the last two or three years, I had a different manager um, grading me on my performance that didn't have a history of knowledge of what my performance was you know, throughout the years. So the regorg-itis uh, really weighed heavily on my decision to say that it was time to step out. I just wanted to put this short video together to let you guys know um, five reasons why I decided to step away from the workplace. The electronic leash that was constantly pulling me into work, uh, away from my life um, with my family. The excessive diversity and inclusion that became a more of a priority than uh, quality of a product to deliver. The stresses of project, overall uh, schedule and quality and delivery of those products, the corporate culture of profit over quality and the emphasis that they pushed down from above. And lastly, the reorg -itis that uh, just put groups and um, organizations in uh, questionable um, positions to get work accomplished. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good weekend. 401k Dexters. Out.